Okay guys, so I got another box of paintings. I've already opened it. And I did check for indoor circulation, and as you can probably tell, maybe, these are circulated pennies. And also, I've come up with this, which I'm calling a coin roll opener, because I've tried the mini screwdriver effect and punch through the rolls like I've seen uh, Silver Secret and some others do on half dollar rolls. That does not work so well on penny rolls. I've tried it, the screwdriver does not work, so I made this thingy, which I'm basically going to use to i try to demonstrate one-handed, but I'm going to try to look around the camera too. Uh, stick like under here, and just kind of pop the ends and so I can roll the coin out. Hopefully I will give you guys a, a idea how well this worked at the end of the video, with, along with a wrap up. It is basically just a chunk of wood I uh, sanded down to this thickness and shaped a little bit. Um, I will let you guys know how it works at the end of the video when do the wrap up and so let's get into some rolls. Guys literally on the third roll we got a 1953 Weedy. Uh, maybe it'll focus. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Anyway, I mean it's a fifty three weedy, nothing. Crazy, well, I got you here. We'll just go ahead and live search. What's that one? In there. In there. Alright, so nothing else in the roll. But, get a wee. So, I mean, we're on the board. Hopefully, you brought friends. A weedy. What we got? I gotta look at the camera. 51. Denver. So, another 50s, two more, uh, some 09s, three rolls left on the first row. So, uh, I mean, not too bad for now, but, uh, you know, hopefully they definitely have more friends and their friends are a lot older than they are. Okay, guys, do you see this? Like, I was just going through the roll. What is it? It's a 29. Denver Weedy. Like, it just flipped up just like this. I have found a few more wheat pennies, which have been uh, 50, a couple of 53s, something like that. So, uh, 29, definitely not a uh, everyday wheat penny. <laughs> just check the rest of this. Sure, he didn't bring any friends in this roll. Not that I'm seeing. So, 29 Denverettes, that is definitely something you don't find in every box, so that is definitely an awesome find, and I'm probably just going to, it was in the uh, last roll of the second row, I'm probably just going to bring you guys in at the end of like, every row, and then I find something really awesome like that, otherwise I'm going to be doing like a bunch of like, 20 second clips, and it's going to take forever to edit. So uh, I will see you guys probably maybe at the end of the next row, or possibly sooner. Roll seven of the fourth row. I didn't find anything in three, so I found this fifty-seven. If you look at it, like it looks like there's like black marker, I guess, but like it's rainbow toned. And it's probably like artificial toning, but it is that is to me, yeah, it is pretty beautiful. Honestly, it's in really good shape and it's got that cool toning. So that's definitely uh, something to add in there. And uh, I'm gonna finish this row, and then on the last row, row and then the uh, wrap up. Okay, so here's the wrap up. Wound up with uh, about 13 normal wheats, some uh, 09s I'm gonna put back, and uh, 80 something Canadian, 89 Canadian. Then I got the 29D wheat. And the, uh, what I think is like really cool toned wheat. So, I mean, all in all, pretty good. Uh, not as good as like my stream, uh, not this past right but the Friday before. 23 wheat pennies. 22 of them common. There was a 37, 36 or 37 P. And, uh, just so you guys can see, this is 
It looked really good. There is a crack going down the middle of it, and that's not from me using it. That's just probably the wood I grabbed. Like I said, this this was just a scrap chunk of wood I was just kind of testing with, so I'm probably going to use something a little bit different this next time. But uh, I will show that to you guys if I do that. So, um, I guess that's it, and I will see you guys later.